Madam Speaker, nothing is on the minds of Americans more than the sad state of our economy. At dinner tables and water coolers across this great nation, Americans are concerned not only about our economy, but their own well-being. Will they have a job next week? Will they be able to retire when they plan to? Will they be able to afford the mortgage, the rent, their child's education? Madam Speaker, the Bush administration left us with the worst economy we have faced since World War II. The economic downturn is no longer subject to debate. In the last four months, this country has lost two million jobs and unfortunately is expected to lose another three to five million in the next year alone. In fact, 2008 was the worst year for job loss since 1945, while unemployment has skyrocketed to the highest level in 15 years. This week, major corporations from Caterpillar to Sprint, Nextel to Home Depot announced that they were cutting 62,000 jobs. Fortunately, it is not too late to turn things around, but the time is almost gone. We must act now. If nothing is done, our economy will continue this downward spiral, and we must take action to boost this economy and to start putting America back to work. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act is a critical and necessary investment that will create and save three to four million jobs, will jumpstart our economy, and begin the process of transforming it for the 21st century with $550 billion in carefully targeted priority investments. Madam Speaker, the plan helps to strengthen Main Street and the middle class, not Wall Street. In order to improve the plight of the hardworking Americans, we will provide immediate direct tax relief to over 95 percent of Americans. Not only will the American Recovery and Reinvestment Plan create jobs and grow the economy, it makes a significant investment in our future. By doubling clean renewable energy production, we will put people to work in the short term while freeing us from our dependence on foreign oil in the long run. By renovating public buildings and homes to make them more energy efficient, we will create jobs that can't be exported while curbing global warming at the same time. By rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure and improving our roads, bridges, and schools, we will strengthen our path forward. And by investing in our health care system, we will cut red tape, prevent mistakes, and save countless dollars and lives. I'm particularly proud that this bill contains funding for AmeriCorps, which will provide recent college graduates with jobs, sending them into struggling communities to help turn them around, much like the Civilian Conservation Corps did after the Great Depression. And finally, we will assist, assist those who have been impacted most by the crisis by increasing food stamp and unemployment benefits and making it easier for those who have lost their jobs to keep their health insurance. And these are just a few highlights of this comprehensive bill. Madam Speaker, the American people are hurting. They're also justifiably concerned whether government spending in such difficult times is correct. I want them to know that this bill contains strict accountability measures to ensure the maximum return for every tax dollar invested. Americans will be able to go on the web to see how their tax dollars are being spent and to provide public comment. The bill contains no earmarks and ensures that funds to help small businesses will not go to entities that already receive money from the financial rescue package. Furthermore, the legislation doesn't waste any time. It will immediately help to put people to work and begin to stabilize our economy. According to the Office of Management and Budget, three-quarters of the overall package will be spent in the first 18 months. And in an independent analysis, economist and former McCain advisor Mark Zandi found that 41 percent of the funding in this bill will be spent this year alone to jumpstart our economy and result in four new million new jobs by 2010. Madam Speaker, our economic woes will not be solved overnight, but we did not get into this mess overnight. This bill alone will not solve all of our economic challenges. We know that the road back to economic stability and prosperity will require hard work over time to truly turn things around. But America has faced great challenges before, 
and turn crises into opportunity. And this legislation is critical to build a foundation for long-term prosperity. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to support the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, and by doing so to restore confidence, to strengthen our economy, and lift up our hardworking citizens from coast to coast.